Hey, welcome to another Inside with IAIS. Uh, it's Griffin again, and today, we cooking. What we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you a method for cooking a fish in clay. Uh, this method of cooking in clay is useful a lot of different ways, um, but the coolest thing about it is this is a method that someone in this area, you know, a thousand years ago could have used because a lot of the materials that you'll need is all found around a stream or a river. So you can find the clay, you can get the fish, you can get all the wood and stuff in that whole area. You don't have to carry much with you other than maybe fire making materials. So let's get started. So usually what I would do with a fish like this um, is I would use a trout. Um, because in this area, if someone's going to use this technique for cooking a fish, um, say 2,000 years ago, uh, they would have used something like a trout or, or something they would have found in a stream around here, maybe a bass, something or another. But uh, I went to a few different stores and didn't actually find any trout. <laughs> and it's too cold for me to do hand fishing, and I didn't feel like using tackle, so I just picked up a different type of fish. But the method will work the same as it would if I uh, was to use a trout. Okay, so we can do the whole fish. Um, all at once. You don't have to descale it, you don't have to debone it, uh, you can leave the head on. The one thing that we have done is it has been gutted. So the fish is already gutted because we actually are going to put stuff in there while it cooks. Um, one of the cool things about using clay when we do this is actually when you peel the clay off, it'll actually take off the top layer of scales too. Now some people really like fish skin, you can still eat that off of the fish skin as well. But um, this will actually uh, take off the outer layer. You still will have to be careful for bones because when you eat a fish like this, there's going to be tiny bones. Don't wolf it down. Make sure you're eating it in small amounts. Uh, and we're going to use some materials that people wouldn't have been using in this area for a while uh, on the inside of the fish just because it's fun. <laughs> so what we're going to need fire-wise for cooking is decent amount of ember base. Uh, we want kind of coals and embers uh, for the most part and then some sticks on top for additional heat. One of the things when you are cooking uh, with found wood, uh, you actually want to be a little bit careful about what types of wood you choose. I really like to use things like hemlock to start fires, but if we used larger hemlock in this, it might make our food taste gross. Another type of uh, wood you don't want to use is different types of birches. There's a lot of oils in the bark that'll make whatever you cook with that wood taste not great. Now, we're lucky with this uh, because the way we're going to be cooking the fish covered in clay, a lot of the flavor that might get onto the fish from uh, the smoke and from the burning wood is kind of blocked by the clay itself. But it's still something to consider because when it, the clay cracks in little bits, you will still get little bits in there. But if I was cooking a steak on top or something like that, those are types of wood we absolutely wouldn't want to use. I am mostly using oak and beech. So I have two different types of clay here. The type of clay we use isn't too consequential. I mean, you want to use natural clay. You don't want to use like chemical clay, which you can find some places. Clay on the, I guess it'd be your right here, is a store-bought clay. It is not a chemical clay, but it is just a pure clay. All the impurities have been removed, any sticks, any rocks, any little bits and pieces. It is the type of clay that you'd want to use if you were making a pot. Um, because different types of impurities may affect the clay when you're trying to fire it and harden it. Um, the clay on my right, your left, is actually river clay. Um, it has in it sticks and little bits of rock and uh, other things, which if we were trying to make a pot, wouldn't necessarily be the best thing to have in our clay. Um, but this is the type of clay you're going to be able to find more easily. You're not going to need like really high quality, you know, potter's clay for cooking a fish. All right, so we're going to fill the inside here with a bunch of lemon. Get all the little bits and pieces up in there. We want the juices all over the place. We're just going to do a little bit of mayo. Um, it is very good for moving flavors around and it's just kind of oily and fatty and that's a good thing to have in here too. Just a little bit, not a ton. And last thing is just some capers. I like capers. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this whole boy completely in clay. I mean completely. We're going to encase it in clay. As you are working to cover this fish, uh, what I like to do is start on one side or the other. I like to start on the head. I mean, it doesn't really matter which side, but... Uh, and then just kind of work your way down the fish little by little. Um, if you try and start in the middle, it'll slide around a lot. Um, so one side for me tends to be the better way to cover it. 
All right, so I've completely covered my fish. This fish is ready to go, and I'm gonna show you how to get it started in the fire. So, here's how you get this started. I let the fish go for about 15, 20-ish minutes maybe um, on one side. Uh, I built up the fire around it a little bit, and then I flipped it over to grab the other side. So we're gonna let it go for a little bit longer like this, and then we're gonna pull it out and let it cool. They're really good. Oh man. One thing you will have to be careful of um, when you are eating this too, is all the bones are still in here. So you have to be mindful of any little vertebrae or ribs in here while you're eating. Um, a lot of it will still stay attached. So if I want to just pull out here, an entire vertebrae, you can get most of it out in one go. But still be careful, you don't want to eat too fast. Thanks for joining me for another Inside with IAIS. Um, hopefully you learned some good cooking techniques. We're going to be back every other week with another video.